I thought that uh, if you match up the talent, just physical talents, they were a very good basketball team. But I thought our physicality, and it, ours is not maybe not the best, but it's close uh, to uh, uh, being with the top teams in our league. And I thought we, we were just more physical in Virginia Tech. I thought their guards were really tremendous, could really handle and shoot the three. Uh, but I thought we whipped them from and on everywhere except at the guard position, and we played them equal there. So I think we beat a good team. And I think a lot of people are going to find that out where it's over. Mm -hmm. They really didn't have an answer for Janai inside. It seemed like 30 points and, and 13 boards last night. I think that I think a lot of teams are going to have a lot of problems with him this year because he's looking to score. You know, last year I thought that when they threw him the ball, I didn't think he looked to score a lot of times. I thought he looked to kick it out, but I think he's confident in his handle. And one thing he can do is he can step out to the side high post and he can face up and shoot. And he does it fairly well in practice. And 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 if he uh uh, I, I said, if he ever gets confident enough, to start taking that shot in games, I think he's going to be a double figure scorer. I've never seen him go both ways, you know, go to his right or go to his left. I've seen him go all left or a stand standing shooter. So mm -hmm. I think he's up for a good year. I think he, one thing he's thinking about, and I may be wrong about this, but I think he's thinking long-term pro. Can I, can I make it as a pro and I got to do this? They, they had him in for a tryout early this year. I don't know how, how they worked it, but uh, I think there was some interest shown in him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's any question. He's got uh, some people that would be interested at the next level, but it, it was kind of a, uh, an ugly game last night, I guess you'd call it. Uh, what do you think of so far? I know coach Pearl has talked about this a little bit, but what do you think of the competition level so far this year after the Baylor game, they were obviously pretty good. I think this team we played last night, except for the physical nature of the game is, is a very solid team. It's going to win games in the ACC. So I thought that would be a really good test for us, but we, their strengths was the guards. And I thought our guards were not big and physical. I thought we took them out of the game. So if we can take their guards out of the game, I think when we get to the physicality that's going to come with the league games, I think we're going to be able to stand in with them. I like our depth. I'm sure you do too. No question about it. We've got uh, 10 or 11 guys that can play. But one thing I found interesting last night, and I'm not sure how this happens, Coach, Aiden Holloway didn't score in the game. How does that happen in 40 minutes? Well, I – I think they got to be somebody gives it up and the people coming off the bench are not guys that are going to give it up. They, they're all looking for shots, not from a selfish standpoint, but that's the way they've always played. And Aiden might be the only one except Trey, maybe that's ever been in a position where he needs to give the ball up. And I believe before it's all over, uh, Aiden will be a true point guard and Trey will be a good backup point guard who can start as a, as a two guard. Mm-hmm. We saw some interesting games last night in the ACC SEC challenge. Uh, Arkansas winds up beating Duke without their best player that got injured, injured against Carolina. Carolina beats Tennessee pretty good in the first half. And then the balls come back in the second half and, and the Tar Heels still win it. But uh, anything catch your eye last night? Well, I think, uh, I think the league may be better than I thought it might be coming in with the returning players and, and the, then the stats of the returning players, I thought the league might not be as strong as it was, but from looks the way teams are playing teams out of the league and they're not playing teams that are not very, they're good teams and they're standing in with them and beating them. I, I think the league is strong. And, uh, and, I, and that when you, when you're pretty sure you're going to be good, you schedule a little better. And it looks like this league is starting to schedule better for it gets you to the NCAA a lot quicker or, or, or not quite as quick if you're not good.